Hello, and welcome to UUMA Connect. You can see here we're on the very front page of UUMA Connect, and I'm going to take you through how to log in, how to use the site, and what you can find here. The first step is to log in, and you can use your regular UUMA.org username and password to log in. Then just click log in. And once you do that, it will take you right to a home page that has a little introduction about the site, has this box where I can post to any of the forums, and down here it has some of the most recent content. You'll see on this side there's a blog post, and if you, if you click on this, read more, You'll be taken right to this excellent blog post here. Um, we'll be having blog posts about once a week from a variety of UUMA members. Here in the center are the most recent forum posts. Now this entire site is, uh, is organized around the nine duties of ministry from fulfilling the call. So if you go up here and look under duties of ministry, you can see what those are. Each of those duties of ministry has a separate forum, but all of the forums come together on this front page. So you can see uh, posts that have been posted into any forum. The same can be said for these featured posts. These are just a few posts that uh, we thought you might be particularly interested in, and we'll be changing them every so often according to the season and, and what's going on right now. This final box on the front page is a Joys and Sorrows. The Joys and Sorrows is a place for personal connection to share um, joys and sorrows of your own or of a colleague. Um, and I will show you that page in just a moment when we get to that point. So this is the front page. First, I'm going to show you one of the duties of ministry pages. So let's go into worship and preaching. So here's the worship and preaching page. As you can see, it looks pretty similar to the home page. It's got the blog and the recent activity, although now this recent activity is just from this duties forum. And it's got this same box. Um, so if you have a question or an idea that you want to share with your colleagues about worship or preaching, you can just type it right into that box. Type worship and preaching into the audience and then click post and it'll show up right down here. Now if you want to comment on someone else's post, you can see read more, one new comment, add new comment. So if you want to add a new comment, just click there. And it will take you to a page that shows um, the original post, the comment, and a place for you to add your own comment. So I'm going to go back to that first page. Um, right over here you'll see there's this whole resources column. And the resources are one of the big parts of this site, and there's a separate section of resources for each duty. So if I click on this resources link, it will take me to a page that has a whole bunch of resources that have been posted by our community leader about worship and preaching. And you'll see they're not, not really in any particular order except for the order that they were posted in. If you want to look at the resources by topic, you can click on this little button right here. And it will bring you to a page that actually lists all the different tags we've used to indicate what the topics are. Here it is. You'll see the first section is topics, so we've got liturgy, preaching, contemporary worship, then we have levels of competence, and what those are is that uh, each duty of ministry is 
categorized under a level of competence. And if you're wondering what those mean, you can take a look at the Fulfilling the Call report. Um, so there's basic competence, approaching proficiency, proficiency, and expert exceptional. And it's just to help you know which resources are at the right level for you. And at the bottom, uh, we know that candidates and retired ministers sometimes need particular resources that might not fit into these categories. And so we've got especially for candidates and especially for retired ministers. Now the other thing that's up here, besides the duties of ministry, uh, is the blog. So if you click on that, it'll take you to our blog page, uh, which only has one post up right now, but will have more in the future. You can also go to our Joys and Sorrows page. And you'll see this uh, Joys and Sorrows page is the same as that box on the front page. And this is where you can light a candle for yourself or for someone else. So you can write to the person or people for whom you are lighting the candle. And then you can write a few details. Uh, the content is limited to 200 characters. So you'll see there are a bunch of candles already lit for folks. You can also find here the, what we're calling the Living Tradition blog. And on this blog, we'll be posting um, ordinations, installations, and obituaries. So I'll just show you what that looks like. You can see there's a whole big list of them on here. The About page is just what it sounds like. You can find all, all about... Um, you can find out all about the, the guidelines around the use of UUMA Connect, the different policies that we have. You can visit our library of how-to videos. Um, you can learn a little bit more about what we're going to be doing with UUMA Connect in the next couple of years. And you can check out our frequently asked questions. And if you have any questions or comments about the site at any time, you can always send them to connect at uuma.org. Now the other thing you might want to know about the site is that you have a little profile page. So if you click on your name, it will take you right into your profile page and you can see all the groups that you contribute to, um, you can see all the things you've done, you can see who you're following and if you have any followers. So you can see I have one follower, but I'm not following anyone. However, if I wanted to follow someone, I could, for example, click on Tom Shade and then click follow. And what that means is that every time Tom posts something, I will get a notification. I will get an email. And you can manage your notifications under this notification settings. And you'll see right now it says send email notifications by default. So anything I follow, I will be sent an email about if I have that checked. So right now I follow administration, I follow Tom Shade. I follow this particular piece of content. Um, and you'll see as you go through things uh, that there is the option to follow things on almost anything. So this is the best way to get notified when new things are posted. So I'm going to follow worship and preaching, for example. And now anytime anything is posted in this worship and preaching area, either a resource or a forum post, I'll be able to, um, I'll get an email and I'll know that it's there and I can go look at it. You can also follow particular pieces of content and particular people as I already demonstrated. So that's a quick introduction to UUMA Connect. There are lots of things that you can do with this site and so I hope that you will take a look around, explore, and have fun.